Even in the first few months of the season, it was clear that Leo Carson would become a great prospect in this class. He showed he could more than hold his own in the SHL. That alone was enough to make me think he could become a top pick. But I didn't see him as a candidate for the second overall rank. Until he played a few games against his age group in November. This play made me see him in a completely different light. I wasn't just looking at a player with strong details and overall skills anymore, but a special prospect. It became clear that Carlson not only understood the game at a high level, but knew how to break it open with his skills. Yes, the dangle is pretty amazing in that play, but the setup is equally good. He gets the puck on the breakout, looks around, and sees no real option. Instead of dumping a pass to a covered teammate, he skates ahead, attracts both opponents on himself, creates a lane to his teammate, and uses him for a given goal to beat pressure. He receives this next puck in crossovers, builds up speed, anticipates the poke check, and slides right through the defenders, before beating the goalie by lifting the puck instantly on his first touch the other way. Of course, he had space here. The defense didn't react very well to him. But that's just the point. This is junior hockey. This kind of setting puts Carlson's skills in perspective. Imagine the plays he would make if he played in the USHL or the G20 League, like other prospects. There's just not much missing in his toolkit. Sure, he doesn't have the best skating posture, it's a bit wide and sometimes he's a little too upright when he strides. Because of this, he can't make deep, explosive cutbacks, like some other players in this draft. But honestly, these flaws won't matter too much at the NHL level. The rest of his abilities are just too great. These are the great projections we gave him this season. In a few years, in his prime, we project that most of his abilities will become high-end in the NHL. But what makes Carson so effective is not one single ability but how they all work together to allow him to beat pressure and make plays. No matter what the defense throws at him, he seems to always find a solution, as he can play multiple different style of games. Because of his quick hands and processing speed, he can outmaneuver the defense. He can slide pucks under or around opponents and find it back even in heavy traffic. Carlson in goal! Leo Carlson and he has these great toe drag moves that seem so easy and precise, like he has practiced them thousands of times. But his best moves are the ones he prepares ahead of time, before he even gets the puck. Watch him cut inside and pull the puck back here on his first touch. Leo Carlson, here, Carla Carlson, oi, here come along! He planned that move. He wants to freeze the defender to move around him and get to the net. And same here, Carlson knows he will get this puck under pressure, so he fakes shots to bait the poke check. He drags the puck in his feet and evades the defender. But what you have to understand is that Carlson is not this high event playmaker. He's not Will Smith. He's more reserved in his choices of plays. He mostly only pulls off these stick handling moves when it's the right time, the right choice against the defense. With the way he plays, he shows that it's possible to be both creative and efficient. He manages the puck well overall, and it's why he earned a top spot in the SHL at such a young age. So while Carlson can dangle just as well as some of the other top prospects in the draft, you won't find a collection of a hundred different moves from him over the course of the season. And it's the same story with his playmaking game. He's more of an effective playmaker than a flashy one. He makes short, efficient and deceptive passes that advance the play. He finds the next open man with consistency, and not just because he's aware, but also because he knows where to look, because he anticipates the game so well. And he can pull off a variety of passes. He can lob the puck above an opponent's stick as he brings it down to the ice, and tread a pass between the stick and a skate to a teammate in the slot. He moves the puck quickly and precisely, with soft hands. And just like in his dangles, he makes sure to retract and freeze defenders before pulling the trigger on his moves. Leo Carlson. Leo Carlson! The reason we're so confident in his projection is that Carlson always seems to be in tune with the game. He's not rushing himself or trying to slow down the play. He knows what's going to happen next and when it's going to happen. He knows the position of defenders and teammates and how much time he has with the puck to make a play.
Because it's subtle, Carlson's hockey sense doesn't shine as bright as it should, but it's high-end, close to elite even. You see it in his play with the puck, but also in how he attacks away from it. He anticipates the movement of teammates and gets open for them in the right spot. And he has many techniques to lose his coverage and connect with teammates. He uses give and goes, like here, to go from the back wall to open in front of the net, and he dances with defenders. Carlson borrows some techniques from strikers in football in these clips. He fakes a run on one side of a defender's body. As the opponent's turn, he quickly attacks the other side. That way, he frees himself for a second, just long enough to try and get his stick on the puck. But while Carlson's hockey sense shows up in more subtle ways, like this, it doesn't mean that he's a subtle player at all. If he sees an opening, he charges through. He's not shy about using a 6 foot 3 size, and that size, in combination with his hands, makes him a great net driver. They play their big guys, Denmark does, and the Swedes pretty much rotate their lines. I believe that was Thomas Montan who was in the middle of that group that we just had a look at. There's a chance in front for Carl. Although he's not as much of a grinder as Adam Fentilli, there are many power forward elements to his game. He can forecheck, hit, and create loose pucks that his team can capitalize on. He can skate after pucks stomped in in the zone and seal them from the position with his body. He can move those pucks off the wall with short passes to teammates inside space. And he also makes these little physical plays that coaches love in the NHL, like moving the puck low to high before rushing the net to get his stick on shots coming from the point. Tillsammans med hans dåvarande kompis Filip Ustedt i Linköping med tröja nummer 25 inne på isen båda de herrarna samtidigt när vi har 1-0. Carlson's tracking data confirms our eye test evaluation. Compared to other recent top prospects who played in the SHL, he was much better at generating offense from the boards and at passing the puck in transition. He also attempted more slot passes per 60 and completed a lot of them. His passing game and precise rotations, his size and physical abilities are all reasons to think he could become an effective center in the NHL, even if he played on the wing this season. At the World Championship, where he did play center, we saw him move down low and support his defenseman well overall. He created some breakouts with his frame and stick handling ability, and he rushed the puck up ice himself by taking advantage of the space in the middle. Carlson might not have a lot of pure speed, but given a runway of space like this, he can break through defenses with his skating. He goes into crossovers and inserts little hesitation moves to freeze defenders and move around them. He attacks the middle, collapses the defense on himself, and either sends the puck wide to teammates or shoots on net himself. We have seen many NHL teams try to convert wingers into centers, and most of these attempts failed. But we feel that it might be more possible for him than others to make this move. If he can improve his defensive reads and timing away from the puck, especially as he comes back in his zone. And if he can improve his speed a bit, his game will fit the center position well. But no matter the position Carlson ends up playing, at his peak, if all goes well in his development, he has a chance to become the best player on his team. And he's not that far from his first NHL role already. Another season in the SHL and a bit of work with an NHL development team, and he should be ready to test his skills against some of the best players in the world. Carlson, mål! Leo Carlson reducerar 2-1! So that's it for this video. If you enjoyed it, please like and subscribe. You can also check out epringside.com for more prospect analysis in our draft guide that just came out.